Thank you for joining us. I'm Jennifer Merrily. Amelia and Frank have the evening off. Summer won't officially start for two weeks, but tick season is definitely here, and it could be worse this year. That's because ticks thrived after our mild winter. They're also spreading across the strait, infecting more Minnesotans with Lyme disease. But a recent change in the weather could actually take a bite out of the threat. Four, five, Alex Lampkin checks his kids for ticks after time outside. We're on the country like we are. They're everywhere. Anything by the woods, tall grass, anything like that, that's where they're going to be. Last year, a tick bit two-year-old Cameron. The tick bite was right, right in her back right there. The bite resulted in Lyme disease. She got bit a week later. Uh, she had a bullseye rash. Well, we never saw the tick. He knows the risk to his kids is real, especially from mid-May through mid-July. Ticks are expected to be a bigger problem this year nationwide because of the mild winter. Here, there was enough snow cover to protect the ticks. When it melted and stayed away, there was a rapid emergence of the population. Recent weather could change that. The Minnesota Department of Health explains ticks prefer humid or moist conditions. Rainfall helps ticks thrive, but our hot, dry weather helps kill them, especially black legged ones that carry Lyme disease. Good job, buddy. Lambkin admits wearing long sleeves and tucking pants into socks isn't realistic for his kids during summer, but he says they'll spray using a repellent with DEET. We just have to be even more diligent on, on checking the kids because there's no way we can keep them inside all summer long, nor do we want to. If you get a tech tick, use tweezers to slowly pull it out straight out, then clean the area. Minnesota averages more than 1,500 cases of Lyme and other tick-borne diseases each year. To learn more about protecting your family this summer, visit WCCO.com links.